Hello again, everyone. Kotongwane, the native God here. Uh, now we'll be looking at question 2.2, and um, it reads as follows. Figure 2 shows a dovetail with two identical rollers of diameter 25 millimeters. <clears throat> Calculate distance x if both angles of the dovetail are 65 degrees. Right. Now, what I always tell students is to always redraw the diagram as it is. It doesn't have to be accurate. It just has to be neat and proportional. Right. Makes it easier that way so that you can um, label your diagram and show all the necessary diagrams on just one diagram. Right. So I've taken the liberty of drawing figure two right on the answer script right now we're looking for distance x they said um the angles of the dovetails are both equal to 65 degrees right meaning that 65 meaning this angle is 65 degrees the angle this side is 65 degrees as well right now what is x equal to right let's see x x is equal to it's going to be equal to a b plus b c plus c d plus d e plus e f right now if you look at the diagram a b as well as so a b as well as e f are both equal to the radius right as far as the rollers the rollers are identical hence they only have one diameter right the diameter of the rollers they said is so the diameter the diameter of the rollers is 25 millimeters right now, A, B, and E, R are equal, and they are both equal to the radius, right? So, both can be represented by the radius, meaning we can say, we can say A, B is equal to E, F, and both are equal to the radius, right? B, C, and D, E, right? Because the angles of the dovetails are equal bc is going to be equal to de right so bc is equal to de right it is important um to identify um this so that in the algebraic expression you have much less um, unknowns because you are able to express one term in terms of the other right now right so that is that so x is then equal to what a b is equal to r so you can rewrite a b in terms of r plus b c so between b c and d e we are going to represent one in terms of the other one since they are equal to each other so we're going to use b c so b c plus c d plus d e but instead of DE, we're going to represent DE in terms of BC. So BC plus EF, which is equal to the radius, right? So X is equal to what? R plus R, which is 2R plus what? Plus 2BC plus what? Plus CD, right? So the radius we have the value of because we have the diameter of the identical rollers right we still need to ascertain bc or the distance of bc right so if you can get bc and you can get cd then we will be able to get x so let's calculate let's first calculate bc right now as far as bc if you look here Remember the conditions of um, congruency that I talked about in 2.1, where if you have two tangents and they're meeting at a common point, then those two tangents are said to be congruent. If you look here, 
you have this tangent right and then you have this tangent and they are meeting at this point right so those two tangents are what are congruent right now the angle between them means it is an included angle such that if you um, separate the two tangents into two equal halves right the angle formed inside of them is going to be half of the included angle right now how do we do that in this case we separate the two um, tangents into two equal halves by drawing a line from the center of the roller to where the tangents meet right so this angle is going to be half of what of the included angle right now then we complete a triangle completing this triangle which is what a right angle triangle right and then let's give a name to this point call it call it point j right so we have triangle bcj right if we can get this angle right so if you can get this angle right if you look at jb right if you look at jb what is it equivalent to it's equivalent to the radius so we already have the radius so it means you have jb and the angle they've given it to us they've given us the um, included angle which is what 65 degrees so this whole angle right so this whole angle remember they mentioned if you look on the question said calculate the distance x if both angles of the dovetail are 65 so both angles of the dovetail are 65 degrees meaning if this is 65 degrees then this whole angle is going to be equal to what 65 degrees meaning if the included angle is 65 degrees then the angle on the inside is going to be half of the 65 let's call the angle on the inside let's draw this triangle right so we have j b c this angle so j b is equal to what the radius right and the radius is what is 12,5 because the diameter is 25 millimeters right so angle c is equal to what 65 over 2 so this angle is equal to what 32 so this is 32,5 degrees right so we have the angle and we have the side opposite the angle right so to get bc we are going to use what um 10 theta so we're going to use 10 angle c is equal to what side opposite which is jb over what the side adjacent the angle which is bc right to get bc we cross multiply and bc times 10 c is equal to what jb so to get bc we divide both sides by 10 c 10 c right so what we see that goes and bc is equal to what jb we've already established that it's equal to the radius so this is 12 comma 5 over what 10 of 32 comma 5 right so bc is then equal to what so if you punch that in your calculators you are going to get 19,621 millimeters right so now we have the value of bc remember if you have the value of bc then you inadvertently have the value of de as well right so what are we missing now we are missing cd once you get cd then we will be able to get x right now cd right if you look here you have this triangle
you have this triangle right you have that triangle right now if you look at this triangle if you were to draw it on the right hand side right if you were to draw that on the right hand side if you were to draw this on the right hand side let's see here right then let's name this gh let's say that's g that's h right so gh will be exactly equal to let's call this i and k so gh would be exactly equal to what to ik right so in the algebraic expression for the 125 millimeters in orange right the 125 millimeters what is it equal to the 125 millimeters let's see what is it it's equal to so basically the 125 millimeters is equal to gh plus the cd right which is this distance we are looking for right plus ik which is equal to what gh so if you can get gh right then we can find cd so 125 is equal to so 2gh basically so 2gh plus what plus cd right so the 125 millimeters is equal to what the 2gh because gh is equal to ik plus what plus cd right so if you can get gh right so if we can get gh then it means we can get cd now let's calculate gh all right let's draw a triangle all right you have g h and what do you have at the bottom you have you have c now note that h c is equal to what the 35 millimeters right also remember we had the angle of the dovetail as being equal to what 65 degrees so if this is 65 it means this is 65 as well those are alternating angles right so we have right so c so this c hc is equal to what 35 millimeters right and this angle is equal to what 65 degrees right so we have one side and we have an angle so we can get um gh now using which trig ratio right we're going to be using 10 so 10 65 is equal to what the side opposite so hc over what so hc over gh right we're looking for gh so we cross multiply so gh times 1065 is equal to hc and you divide both sides by what by 1065 so what is hc equal to hc is equal to the 35 millimeters so you divide both sides by 10 65 so that goes and if you punch the 35 over 10 65 in your calculators you are going to get 16 comma 3 to 1 millimeters right now to get cd right to get cd we know that 125 is equal to that right so to get cd cd will be equal to 125 minus 
to gh so cd is equal to 1 25 minus 2 into 16 comma 321 right now if you punch that in your calculator cd will be equal to what 92 92,358 right right now we have cd remember what it is we're looking for we're looking for x right we have r we have pc and now we have cd right so to get your r or to get your x to get your x sorry maybe just just do it here so to get your x x will be equal to what two times the radius the radius is 12.5 that's 2 into PC. PC is 19,621 plus CD, right? And CD so CD is equal to this right? So you punch this in your calculator now you get the value of x and the value of x is 156,6 millimeters All right so we've done both 2.1 and 2.2 right and both um, sub questions of question 2 are based on precision measuring All right so i hope this video has been helpful to you All right and um if you feel like you need further help, uh, stay tuned. I'm sure I'll be posting some content that's going to be help, helpful to you. Right? If not, maybe you can write a comment that's specific to um, what it is that you're looking for. Right? Yeah, that is it. Sai Anara.